What does the current lineup of Bolova watches have to offer the enthusiast on a budget? Let's find out. Welcome to the Watch Closet. I'm COE33, CO for short. And guys, I think it's safe to say that I'm cuckoo for watches. If you enjoy watch collecting content as much as I do, help me grow this channel and appease those algorithm overlords by subscribing and ever so gently polishing that like button. Before we get into the topic of the day, let's do a wrist check. I'm wearing the Bolova Computron reissue with gold tone bracelet, red LED digital display, and groovy 70 styling. Joseph Bolova founded the J. Bolova Watch Company in 1875. The brand has a long tradition as an American watch manufacturer with roots deeply planted in New York City. Oh, this dog made New York City! New York City! Their first headquarters, seen here, was located on Maiden Lane, and later they moved operations to the once famous Bolova Observatory on Fifth Avenue. This observatory was situated on the roof of a skyscraper so that they could determine universal time with more precision. And more importantly, so that the Bolova engineers could chuck balance cocks and mainsprings off the building to the unsuspecting pedestrians below. Over the decades, Bolova has accumulated a long list of accomplishments, cementing its place in the horological Hall of Fame. From the first ever advertisement broadcast on the radio in 1926, 10 p.m. VULOVA, Bolova watch time. For supreme accuracy, expert design, and outstanding value, choose a Bulova, masterpiece of fine watchmaking. WEAF, New York. To the first ever television ad in 1941. America runs on Bulova time. And, of course, the creation of the Accutron in 1960, a watch that used a 360 hertz tuning fork instead of a balance wheel, and is considered the second electronic watch ever created and the last watch worn by anyone with a pacemaker. Today, the company is owned by Citizen, and the Bolova corporate offices are located inside the Empire State Building. Which really makes me wonder, where's our King Kong watch, Bolova? Make it a limited edition, engrave the Empire State Building on the case back, create the world's first gorilla hair dial, throw a banana on there for good measure. Talk about low-hanging fruit. Recently, I took a deep dive on the current lineup Bolova has to offer, and today, I'm going to share the five watches that I feel have the most to offer the collector and enthusiasts looking for a quality watch at a reasonable price. When talking about Bolova, the first watch that comes to my mind is the Lunar Pilot Chronograph. Five, four, three, two, one, liftoff. We have liftoff at 9.34 a.m. We can go right now. This is the reissue inspired by the watch worn by astronaut Dave Scott during the Apollo 15 mission to the moon. Legend has it that his Omega Speedmaster broke, so Scott wore his personal Bulova instead. It survived the long journey to the moon and back, in turn creating a historically significant piece that sold at auction for $1.625 million. Taking a look at the current Lunar Pilot lineup, you're presented with four variants, all of which are from the Archive Collection. You can get this watch on a stainless steel bracelet, a carbon fiber leather band with brushed stainless steel case, a polished stainless steel case with NATO strap, or for a premium, you can purchase the two-tone titanium limited edition celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 15 moon landing, which was totally not faked by Stanley Kubrick. All four watches use Bolova's proprietary high-performance quartz movement, boasting a vibrational frequency of 262 kilohertz, which results in a nice smooth sweep from the chrono hand and a two clicks per second sweep from the seconds hand on the subdial register. I think it's hard to go wrong with either of the models, but my favorite is the polished case with the NATO strap. And in fact, I just ordered one for my personal collection. Stay tuned for an unboxing and full review on the channel. Also from the archive collection is the Oceanographer, AKA the Devil Diver. This quirky 70s icon gets its name from the watch's 666 feet of water resistance. 
You can get this vintage-inspired dive watch in several variants, but the two that stand out to me are the stainless steel bracelet with green dial and the rubber strap with orange dial. The orange dial version has smaller case dimensions of 41mm versus the slightly hulking 44mm of the rest of the oceanographer lineup. The watches are powered by Miyota Automatic Movements, are ISO certified, and have a nice domed sapphire crystal. I'd enjoy having one of these double divers in my collection, but part of being married is compromise, and Kat said, and I quote, Oh hell no, that number freaks me the fuck out, and I don't want that anywhere in my house. So unfortunately, no devil diver for me, but if you don't mind rocking that mark of the beast, pick one up for yourself. Amazon affiliate links to this watch and all the watches discussed in this video can be found in the description. Moving away from the archive watches to the more modern stylings of the Curve collection. This line of watches from Bolivar utilizes the world's first curved chronograph movement and is designed to conform to the contours of the wearer's wrist and never let go. There are many models within the Curve line, but my favorite is this brushed stainless steel integrated bracelet with transparent blue dial variant. Much like the Lunar Pilot, this watch utilizes a high performance quartz movement with a 262 kHz vibrational frequency. This piece has case dimensions of 44 millimeters, lug width of 25 millimeters, a double curved sapphire crystal, and an ass that just won't quit. Next up is a watch from the military lineup, the A-15 Pilot. This is a really cool looking piece that's inspired by the 1944 military issued A-15 elapsed time watch. Bolova has several different watches with vintage military aesthetics, but this one is the most interesting to me personally. So much so that I'm considering ordering one of these as well. If this is a review that you'd like to see, and you take great joy in perpetuating my unhealthy watch addiction, let me know in the comments. As far as specs go, this watch has an automatic movement, 42mm case width, a lug to lug of 20mm, and a double domed sapphire crystal. The case is stainless steel, and the black dial has two rotating inner discs, one for elapsed time and the other for dual time, both of which are controlled by the crowns. All in all, a solid watch that can often be found substantially discounted from the $695 MSRP. Before discussing my last pick, I'd like to mention a couple honorable mentions. These watches are also worth consideration in my opinion. In fact, I own the first one, the Bolova Computron. This futuristic, at the time, LED display driver's watch comes in a gold tone, and a silver tone trapezoidal case, and is an eclectic addition to anyone's collection. Also worth noting is the Chronograph A, the iconic 1970s dive watch that's lovingly nicknamed the Surfboard. I particularly like the blue dial variant with the silicon strap, but all of the models have a funky vintage vibe that's sure to spark a few conversations with the most annoying hipster at your next fondue party. The last watch I'd like to share with you is from the Joseph Bolova Limited Edition lineup. There's a bunch of designs within the collection, but the one that I like to spotlight is the Banker on the stainless steel bracelet. It's a limited edition of 350 pieces and has a vintage Art Deco aesthetic. Arabic markers, brushed sunray dial, display case back, automatic movement, and a double dome sapphire crystal. Pretty cool design coming from a guy that's 171 years old. What's your secret, Joe? Admittedly, I'm a sucker for anything Art Deco, and vintage watches from that time period are among my favorites. This watch does come with a steep price tag compared to the other watches showcased in this video. It has MSRP of $1,095, but you may be able to track down a good deal. Or you could just sell your least favorite kidney on the black market. Those are the watches within the current Bolova lineup that I wanted to share with you today. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. I'm posting new videos every Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can count on it. It's like clockwork. Follow me with my watch collecting adventures on Instagram at cuckoo for watches. I'm live streaming on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday. Follow me over there for wrist checks and retro gaming at COE33. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep your watches wound and your sapphires polished. Yeah.